What's up, YouTube? This is BiasedInX79. Guys, I made it one year as a Yugi tuber. So this is my one year anniversary. From the bottom of my heart to all my subscribers, thank you so much. And please, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to be announcing with my giveaway for the Soul Fusion Special Edition box. Alright, so stay tuned for that. But right now, let's get focused in on the deck profile I'm doing for you guys today. I'm doing Dynamist. Dynamist is one of my favorite Pendulum R-types of all time. Just the built-in protection from this, the scales, the typing, the attributes. This deck can be built, built in such a myriad of ways. And the most best thing about this deck, it's insanely it's fun to play. And without further ado, I'm going to get into this. All right, I'm going to start off with my one-ofs. All right, I'm only running one of Dino Mist Rex and Dino Mist Ankylos. Okay, now Dino Mist Rex, the level five machine here. Um, whenever it battles during a damage deck, you can and destroys a mo your opponent's monster. You can actually tribute one of your other face up Dino Mist monsters to activate one of two effects. You can either a attack again in a row. And if you would attack a defense species monster, you can inflict piercing damage. Or, you can trip a monster and you can either bounce a card off your field or spin a card out of your opponent's hand back to the opponent's deck. And this card gain, and Rex card gains an extra 100 attacks. So, either way, you're going to be doing some damage to your opponent, either ripping away resources or just being. Monsters. Now, Akylos, its monster effect, while it's face up on the field, any monster that's destroyed in battle with one of the Dynamis monsters is banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. And that's kind of huge, especially in this format where there's a lot of grave centric um, strategies around. Having this card out on the field can actually make or break duels. So keep this in mind. All right. Now, another thing about it is that the scale six effects. All right. Let's just get Dynamist and Kalos up here. Alright. Basically, if your opponent targets any of the Dynamist monsters, you can actually take that activation and destroy this card. So, this the scale 6 actually pr protects your Dynamist cards from being targeted by car other card effects. Very cool. Okay, for my scale 3 one offs I'm running one Spinos and one Stegos. Okay, now Spinos here, he's a pretty much of a badass. Um, his effect isn't like Rex where you have to actually be att attacking stuff in the, in the battle phase. You can actually tribute your Dynamis monsters before your battle phase. And you can actually do it multiple times during the turns. So you can actually get both of his effects. So if you tribute one monster, you can actually allow Spinos to attack your opponents directly. It being 2500 attack, that's kind of a big hit. The other one effect is that you can attack twice during your turn. So if you have multiple Dynamis monsters on the field, you can distribute two of them, attack directly twice. Yeah, your opponent's not going to like that. Over here, Dynamis Tegos, if this card's face up on the field and one of your other Dynamis battles an opponent's monster, after damage calculation, you're destroying them both. Um, with the effect of Dynamis Charge being able to recycle... Dynamis, destroy Dynamis cards from your extra deck back into your hand. It's actually a pretty good strategy to utilize. So if you want to utilize this effect, it's at, go right ahead. Alright. For the three ofs and the speed of the deck. Alright, we're going to be go doing three copies of Dynamis Bracken. Okay, now Dynamis Bracken at three is actually pretty good because this is, this is actually allowing the deck to be able to go first or second. Alright. So if your opponent controls a monster... With the high attack, you could special summon this guy out. Right from your hand. Huge. Okay. And if we actually look at the next card. Three copies of Dynamis Ceratops. As long as you control a Dynamis monster, except for Dynamis Ceratops, you could special summon hit from, from your hand. So effectively, you could actually get both Dynamis Brecken and Dynamis Ceratops onto the field in one turn. And from there, you can go into rank 5 plays. You can go into your... Link plays, it's just great. Okay, for some level fours, 
we got the heart and soul of the deck, which is Dynamis Terran. All right, whenever this guy destroys one of your opponent's monsters, you get to search your deck for a Dynamis card and add it to your hand. And like, like I said before, it's a Dynamis card, which means you're going to be searching out your monster spells or traps with this guy. So that's actually pretty huge. All right. Now, Terran was the heart and soul of the deck. This card is the brains of the deck. Three copies of Dynamist Plesios. While this guy is face up on the field, for every Dynamist card on your side of the field, your opponent is losing 100 attack and defense for each of their monsters. Now, that's actually pretty damn awesome because if you can actually get multiple copies of Plesios, your opponent can actually be losing a ton of attack and defense of their monsters. I mean, just think about this. You're going to have your scales. You're going to probably have at least a copy of Dynamus Charge. Possibly a copy of Dynamus Talon. That's at least four cards in the back row. If you have two copies of Plesios, that's at least six cards. And the cool thing about it is the fact is that its effects does stack. So, your opponent's going to be losing 600 attack for this Plesios and 600 attack for this Plesios, which means all their monsters are going to be losing 1,200 attack. That's kind of huge. And that's just not including any other Dynamist cards that you have on the field. Seriously. He's the brains. Alright. On to the spells. Alright, since you are going to be doing some searching in this deck, you don't want to be ashed or drolled, so you want to be running three copies of Call, Call by the Grave. Um, back at three. Anti-hand trap card. It can also shut down a lot of different monster effects. Um... Since there's a lot of great essential strategies out of there. So it's just a perfect tool card to actually have in this deck. To make it just that little bit better. Alright. Of course, I've been mentioning this card. Three copies of Dynamis Charge. Continuous spell. Whenever you activate a card, you can search your deck for a Dynamis Monster. Add it to your hand. And, of course, if any of your Dynamis Monsters are destroyed and sent face up to the extra deck, you can actually take one of those cards and add it back to your hand. Yeah. Alright, you can have multiple copies of Dynamis Charge face up on the field, but you're only going to get that recursion effect once. So just keep that in mind. Alright, this is a machine deck. Limiter removal is a staple in this deck. It just doubles all the attack points of your Dynamis monsters. So just think about Spinos being able to attack directly and attack directly twice. Initially, that's 5,000 attack points. With this card, that's 10,000. That's pretty much game. Alright. I am running qu quite a few continuous traps here for a little bit more control aspect of the deck. And we're going to be doing three magical planters, which basically allow you to get rid of those continuous traps off the field. Metting you pluses so you can keep your hand advantage going and be able to get to the cards you need. And for a little extra consistency, Upstart Goblin, because this deck really doesn't care if your opponent gets an extra thousand life points because it can actually just swing into your opponent pretty hard. And last but not least, a Pendulum deck is not a Pendulum deck without two copies of Wavering Eyes. Yeah, I know um, Pendulum Magicians really aren't the top deck anymore, but not having this card in your deck is just a bad idea. Um... Popping both scales gets you two effects. The first effect allows you to inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent, which is just huge, if you, especially if you go into time. And the second <clears throat> effect for popping two cards in your scales is being able to search out any Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. So just having that little bit extra consistency helps this deck out. For the trap, two copies of Dynamist Howling. Now, Dynamist Howling is huge because this card can actually get your scales up Onto the field, even with cards like Imperial Order or Ancient Spell, I mean, Anti Spell Fragrance. Um, it just basically, you flip this card and you're allowed to place two Dynamis Monsters onto your Pendulum Scales, one or two Dynamis Monsters onto your Pendulum Scales really fast. Its other effect allows you to tribute one of your Dynamis Monsters, let's charge around, you get it back, and you can actually bounce a monster off your opponent's field, which it it's just huge. Both effects are just awesome. Um, you really don't need more than two in this deck. Alright, for a little extra 
surprise factor and speed. That three copies of Dynamis Rush. Um, I just like this card because you special summon right from your deck um, to the field. It gets what you need. Yeah, the monsters destroy at the end phase, but again, Dynamis Charge allows you to recover those losses. So having this card around is not that bad. All right, so this is a mono attribute deck. You gotta run Go Goes and Match. I have two copies of Goes and Match. Just locks down the attri the attributes. I know it might not be that good of a card against certain decks, but that's what the side deck is for when you're going into matches and stuff like that. But it's just big. All right, and of course, mono type deck. Two copies of Rivalry Warlord. Again, this card just helps the deck lock down duels and just helps you win. Now, for to help combat against the current meta, I actually have one little copy of Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. I actually keep the extra copy of sh extra copies of Shadow Imprisoning Mirror in my side deck. Basically, what does it do? Basically, Dark Attribute monsters who activate their effects on the field or in the graveyard can't. It's basically a skill drain for Dark Attribute monsters, since all the monsters you're running in your main deck are water. It's not going to hurt this deck at all. And just think about. All the decks that are out there. You have your Dark Warrior decks. It hurts very hard. It actually does hurt Thunder Dragons, especially when they activate um, Thunder Dragon Dark. Can't activate their effects in the graveyard. And even giving Sky Strikers a problem because they can't bring Ray back out of the graveyard. Very important to have. All right. The other card I have is one copy of Soul Drain. Now, Soul Drain is only at one. It's still on a limited list. Um, what does it do? It basically blocks all monster effects that activate in the grave or the banish zone that start chains. I mean, this card is huge. I know back in the day it caused a lot of problems, but now, nowadays, in my opinion, if Konami would bring this back maybe down to the semi-limited, it might actually just help rein in those decks just a little bit more. All right, so that's it for the main deck. We're gonna go off onto the extra deck, and of course, one copy of Heavy Metal Electromite. You can't run a Pendulum deck without this card. Pe Link summon it. You get a card. Move a card. Pendulum monster right from your deck to your extra deck, which is awesome. If yeah, you can pop a card on your field with effects. You can turn around and just get face a Pendulum monster from the extra deck back to your hand. And if it happens to be one of your skills, you get to draw a card as well. So this card, this nets a lot of pluses for it being around. Alright, also have one copy of Quill for Genius. is a machine type monster. All your monsters are machines, so it's pretty easy to make. Um, getting two machines, yeah, that whole play with Brachia and Ceratops can lead you into this. If you get your scales up and Pendulum summon both of those guys out to the zones that it points to, guess what? You're getting an extra search. Which is just awesome. That's why he's in there. Alright. I tend to favor power up my monsters just a little bit more. So I like me Starboy. Gives all water tripping monsters 500 extra attack and defense. Which is just huge. It'll power down water tripping monster. I mean not water fire tripping monsters. By the same amount. Awesome. Whatever this card is sent from the field to the graveyard. You can actually get a water tripping monster back from your... From your graveyard to your hand or your extra deck depending on what monster you're bringing back always good to have all right those are my link twos for link fours i got Sarusha skull dread let's face it this guy is just badass i mean using two monsters with different names you could power up any monster it points to by 300 which is not bad um using three monsters with different names you could actually get that extra special summon from your hand which is actually huge and the effect that you typically want to be using to br when you bring this guy out. Um, and the last effect, if you use four monsters with different names, you can actually fix your hand, draw four cards, and send three cards back to the bottom of your deck. So it's actually pretty good. Alright. For the extra attack, strength, and OTK Pensational Boral Soul Dragon, I mean... You attack, you can cut a monster's attack points in half it's just to up its own. You can turn one of your other face-up monsters on the field to defense position for it to swing again. So, yeah, that's why it's here. 
And of course, just in case your opponent likes to establish problematic boards, you've got Boral Old Dragon, Winking Monsters with its quick effect. You attack a monster, you can actually steal it to a, someone it points to, and you can actually swing with it as well. Making it awesome. Alright, so that's it for the links. For the Xyz plays, I'll start with the Negator packages. I have Bahama Shark, totally awesome. I mean, this guy is just pretty standard with this deck. Two water trippy monsters for Bahama Shark. Send one monster, detach one monster to get totally awesome out. Totally awesome will negate card effects to help protect your field. So that little extra negation does help. And it also returns itself to that extra deck so you can actually use Bahama Shark a second time before you lick it off. The other negator package, <laughs> I think you see this coming. The Cyber Dragon Nova Infinity package. Very standard, two level five machines. Overlay into Infinity. Infinity can take any face-up attack position monster from your opponent's field, which is huge because Link monsters are stuck in attack position, so that's basically feeding time for Infinity. Um, also has that built-in effect negation where you can actually just detach the material to negate the activation of a spell, trap, or monster effect, and destroy it. Alright. Help out cards like Soul Drain and Shadow and Prison Mirror, you have the Beast Dweller, Detached Material, and your opponent cannot activate monster effects in the graveyard for the remainder of their turn. Very awesome. Okay. Some other water attribute monsters that I think that are pretty fun and should be coming back with this. I'm running number 101 Silent Honor Arc. Um, anybody who knows this card from back in the day when it first came out in the Zexal era knows what this card does. Detach two materials and you can target one face-up attack position monster that was special summoned on your opponent's field and attach it to itself. Um, with Lynx being stuck in attack position, you're going to have plenty of targets. I'm also running number 103, Rhino Zero, basically. If you could target any monster that has attack that's been altered, you could pop it for detaching one material, and then you get to draw a card. So it adds consistency to the deck. And then last but not least, another rank 5 I have in here. I have Ar Artifact Durndel. And I just like its um, a quick effect where you could actually just detach a material and sh have both players shuffle their hands back into their deck and draw a new hand. I mean, it's just awesome. It's the way to use it. it adds that little extra disruption into the deck. And it's just great to have. Alright. Alright guys, that's it for my deck profile. Alright, now on to other business. Since I've been a YouTuber for one year, and I've also hit that magical 100 subscriber mark, like I promised, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a box full of Soul Fusion. Okay. All you guys got to do, head to my main page, Hit the discussion tab, look for the comment of enter the Soul Fusion box giveaway here, and just comment, I want in. That's all you gotta do. Easy peasy. Remember, discussion tab on my main page. Look for the look for the thread. Enter to win Soul Fusion box special edition here. Type in, I want in, and I'll put you into the drawing. All right? I'll randomize, and I'll do the drawing Friday with my next video. All right? Until then, guys. Peace.